him and I'm at it again The crystal arrow calling my name Down a gravel road, box full of fur And a mystery in the next deal were Catching the first made me a believer What a day, guys. What a season. Well, this is it, guys. The last day of my fur trapping season. Um, definitely bittersweet, you know. I love trapping, and but I'm worn out, you know. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Uh, work is just getting crazy right now. Uh, just it, something's got to give, and it can't be work, that's for sure. So, but anyway. Hopefully we have a good day and uh, we'll see what we got for you today. Oh, this bridge, this is the first time that this slide has been gone, so fingers crossed. Hey, we got us one. Not the biggest, but that's all right. I'm just glad to see a beaver again. It's been a little bit. So. This, that's the first catch on this trick system. So there's, I think there's a total of four that we haven't caught anything on. Uh, just bittersweet, guys. Bittersweet, but anyway, we'll get him out of here and head to the next spot. This is one of the locations I got some competition on. Uh, he actually texted me the other day. And sent me a picture and said uh slide's gone so hopefully we got one down here in the bottom which judging by what i see right now we do the water's dropped significantly down here uh, like a lot but what i can do I see that we got one here. Another smaller one, but that's all right. Two beaver at three locations. I'll take that. Something else kind of cool that I'm going to try to get. I'll see how well this works anyway. We got some muskrat there. I hope these GoPros are waterproof like they say they are. Because we just dunked it. Anyway. What's inside the den here? Kind of interesting. I think it was an old beaver den at one point. But well, the camera's still rolling anyway. Didn't completely ruin it, so that's good. <laughs> but... We'll get this beaver out of here and uh, get to the next spot. I hate pulling traps, man. It sucks, but part of it. Hi, I'd like two McChickens, a large fry, a large water with no ice, and three cookies, please. All right. Anything else? That should do it. All right, it's going to be nice.
window. Thank you. Don't judge me. I'll tell you what, you want some some energy. These McChickens, man, they do the trick for me. Always make sure you wash your hands though first. This water's come down a long ways, but you can see right there. You got tangled up in some sticks down here too. Yeah, not the biggest beaver, but I'll take her. Slide is gone. I like the looks of that. Oh, never mind. It's up. I'll tell you what, it's always nerve-wracking when you come down the ditch and off the side of the gravel road, you see footprints that weren't yours coming down below. Uh, makes you wonder if you're going to have stuff down here or not. But we're about to find out. I see one rod still set. Um, cool, looks like we got one right there. Uh, the other one got silted in real bad, but... We do have a beaver on the bottom of this one, so. Looks like it's a big day for these smaller beaver. Man, this trick system's dropped a lot too. I'll take him. That makes four. You know it's not a hundred, but uh, guess what, guys? We just hit 50, so I'm pumped about that at least. Uh, this system's been good to us. We've got a lot of beaver off this, but it's that time. Time to get everything out of here. I'm not sure how well you guys can see this, but we got a double. <laughs> that is awesome. Let me find them here in the camera. Oh my, that's a big one. That's a big beaver. <laughs> He's cleaned up a bit. That's a good one. Hopefully that one's the same size on this side. <laughs> That's awesome. Don't get no better than that. Yes. This is my least favorite bridge out of all of them. Long ways down and it is some soft, muddy stuff down at the bottom. Uh, you know, coming off of uh, our last location here. Uh, my last location, I got ripped off. Uh, lost two TS-85s with grounding rods and everything. Um, it sucks, but like a oh, damn pigeon. Whew, I got me, but make it two of them. But like I said, you know, don't ever let anything get you down and ruin your day. Uh, you got to keep moving forward and pushing through things, so... Uh, boy, this water's dropped a lot down here, too. Like a lot. I want to show you how much this sand changes things. That was all deep, deep water when I was down here last. Um, you can see a little bit of my rebar drowning rod here, but it is fully under sand and everything. So we'll see what we got here. Slide is gone on our second location. hate how much I sink in this. I'm almost to my knee already. Now I am to my knee.
Oh, there's weight down here. Wow, that's weird. He got balled up in a bunch of netting. A bunch of netting from hay bales. Big old female. Holy cow, this might be a big one. People just throw junk everywhere, I swear. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah. That's a beaver. Wow. <laughs> I'm 250 pounds. And I'm guessing this one's at least 60. Woo! <laughs> yes! I'll tell you what, guys. This one might be hitting the scales when we get home. I mean, this sail's bigger than my foot. That's a big beaver. supposed to go I'm gonna call it a little bit of a save right well still nothing in this spot that's one of my better spots last year so uh, if we don't have anything today it's gonna be one of a few spots that produced zero for me and it's looking that direction yep nothing uh, kind of crazy it's a great system probably took six out of here last year but this year's nothing, but that's part of it. So get these pulled out of here and move down the road. I'll tell you what, this line started off strong, but she kind of went downhill quick on us. Definitely went downhill quick on us. Well guys, that's a wrap. Uh, eight beaver puts me at 54 for the season. I uh, still got some animal damage control jobs out that I didn't check today. I'll probably do that tomorrow. But for my regular line, uh, looks like we're now 54. So still got you know ADC jobs. They'll still count up until Friday as far as my numbers go. But uh, smaller day, you know. We didn't have huge size. Uh, we did have one here that's just a monster. But you know i'm happy with it i learned a lot this year uh i love my drowning systems but but i am realizing that there's other ways too uh last year i didn't have this water fluctuation issue like i do this year so you know i just pulled out 38 drowning rods i think i had four i pulled before so around 42 traps and this was only my sixth check in four weeks three and a half weeks I'm not even sure how long we've been going now, but uh, I do think, you know, if I had more checks in there, uh, that's been a lot better year. I probably could almost hit that 100, uh, but it is what it is. I'm happy with it, guys. This isn't the end, you know. We're done trapping for the year, and it's kind of a sad moment, but we're still going to do some bow fishing. Uh, you know, I might be doing some turkey hunting, maybe even some uh, turtle trapping. Uh, I'm not done yet, so we're gonna we're gonna have a few fun things lined up for this summer yet, but Bittersweet day. I always hate when it comes to a close I'm worn out though. I'm exhausted. Uh, definitely should have stuck with one McChicken today instead of two But you know, it is what it is. Hindsight's always 2020. So we're gonna these guys skinned out You know, they've been underwater now for I think five days and we've had a couple 70 degree days in there So we need to get them taken care of now, but Anyway, thanks guys. I really appreciate everyone tuning in this year. It's been fun. I really enjoyed it. Uh, thank each and every one of you. Uh, this is just, it's been a great experience. I've learned so much from my channel. Uh, I hope, hopefully you guys are able to pull something out of it too. So, rent these guys taken care of and uh, get out of here guys. Thank you.